Hello, Internet, your friendly neighborhood gremlin here. And today we are going to help Hornsby live his best sky life. I don't know, he wants to fall into the sky. So, uh, hopefully that's what we achieved. I can't really tell you. It's just kind of a little bit of a weird one. The thing I really wanted to build was like the interior of an airplane, which is what we do on the first floor. That was a very short, very small, very simple build. And so then we kind of go castle on a cloud. But, uh, we can talk about that when we get there. It took me absolutely forever to find the right wallpaper to put on this back wall. And then finally, the operating room wall comes in clutch. Which is great, because it kind of looks like the basic wall, which is what I wanted to use. But that has, like, the sky at the top of it, which is not really gonna fly. And I really did try my best here, but I also have not been on a large quantity of airplanes in my life. Mostly I got really attached to that carpet floor, because I think it is great. But also, the navy blue isn't the same blue as like literally anything else that ever existed. And that proved to be more difficult than expected. Here I'm trying to put like screens up, because you know, you usually have like movie screens or whatever. Last time I was on a plane in 2018, the screens were actually like on the seat in front of you. So not like this at all, but that wasn't an option in Animal Crossing. And we just put like the weather on it, because I had no idea what else to put on it. But I really don't believe that this game was built with airplane interiors in mind. So, uh, we just do the best we can with what we have. And, I mean, it's sketchy at best. The seats in the back on their side there are supposed to be like the flight attendant seats. I don't know if that's a real thing. I feel like it's something I've seen in movies. So that's kind of just what we went with. And also this really cute flight attendant uniform, which doesn't come with a matching hat, which proves kind of upsetting later when we try to dress ourselves up. I should maybe warn you now that this is actually my favorite part of the build. So, um, it doesn't get better from here. This is going to be take one of upstairs. We are actually going to delete pretty much all of it later when we come back because it just doesn't work out. But I thought it might be fun to sort of watch me struggle. I don't know. Maybe that's not something you want to see. You can let me know down below if you want to see all the epic fails or just the sort of success bits. Also, if the audio in this episode is a little bit weirder or worse, I guess, than usual, like with more gasps and other things, because I can't really hear very well at the moment. I have very limited volume coming out of both my ears. I really should go see a guy about that, but I'm very scared too. I don't know. It was just one ear for a while, but now I have to put earplugs in my ear every day. So, um, it has gotten worse in both ears, which is grand. Just great. It really does feel like a lot of me is breaking at the moment, which, you know, is a fun adventure. Because here we are, and I'm afraid to make phone calls or talk to other people about things, so hopefully we'll get that fixed soon. The original goal here was kind of just like apartment in the sky, but I got really attached to that cloud flooring, which doesn't actually match very well with the cloud wall, which is upsetting. We're gonna use it and just hide a bunch of it behind these like castle walls. That's what those are called. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna try this for a little bit and then we're gonna castle on a cloud which is a song from Les Mis, if you're not familiar. And, um, it's very cute, but also kind of sad, I guess. I don't know. It's sung by Baby Cousette, when she's with the Tenardiers, and everything is bad. Oh, I suppose, as a whole, Les Mis is just kind of like a depressing musical. Most people die. You know, good times. And we have given up on upstairs for a little bit, and now we're gonna come outside, where I made it winter, because it felt kind of like a cloud, almost. Also, we only use fake trees, because again, I don't know. It felt kind of cloudy. This could be the questionable decision of the build, but I also really like it. So, this is what we do. The gazebo and the mushrooms and stuff are less of a good decision, but also things that we just kind of put around to put them around, I guess. Short interlude concluded, and now we are back to upstairs again, where we're going to try again, because all of it is awful. Not sure it gets any better, but it does get less functional. Is that a positive? Probably not. And I also had some statues because white? I don't know. We were trying to make it mostly white. That was kind of what I was going for. Again, not sure we totally succeeded, but we do our best. We also make it significantly more castle-y. Because castle on a cloud. There isn't a lot of reason or logic around this. It was just me trying to find something that might have looked good at one point. Again, I'm not totally sure it does look good. And it is mostly just a hot mess. I don't do ethereal particularly well, which is a thing I should have learned, but also the only way to get better at a thing is to do it again and again 
until eventually somehow it works. Or maybe I'll never get better at this. Who knows? If any of y'all have some ethereal building tips, I would happily take them. Because again, I'd like to be good at this. It's a nice kind of aesthetic. It's just I'm not any good at it. Down here, I just like change the floor and the lighting. And also I dressed Hornsby up, but you're not going to get that outfit shot until later. Because, I don't know, that was just how that worked out. And we totally end up in the exact same outfit. Because the color of the outfit that I liked doesn't have a matching hat. And this is the only other color that I found acceptable. But we have made it to the end of our disaster. So if you've liked the build or just had a good time hanging out with me, you can hit that like button. Or you can leave me a comment down below about your thoughts on the build or literally anything at all. And if you think you might like to do this again sometime, you could hit that subscribe button. I have indeed managed to hit 50 subscribers, which seems absolutely insane and also very exciting. But I will see y'all on Friday. Goodbye!